In the dimly lit back room of Satriali's pork store, Tony Soprano sat at the head of a heavy wooden table, his gaze fixed on the door. The air was thick with tension as he awaited the arrival of an unexpected guest. This wasn't going to be a typical sit-down. Suddenly, the door creaked open, and in stepped an unlikely figure, the gingerbread man. He was no more than a foot tall, with sugary icing adorning his gingerbread body and a mischievous sparkle in his candy eyes. Tony raised an eyebrow, his confusion mingling with a hint of amusement. Hey, T, mind if I take a seat, the gingerbread man chirped, hopping onto the chair across from Tony without waiting for an invitation. Tony leaned back in his seat, studying the unexpected visitor. What brings you here, gingerbread? The gingerbread man flashed a toothy grin. I've heard about your reputation, Tony. You're the man to see when you need things done. And I've got a bit of a problem. Tony's interest peaked. Go on. It's those pesky kids, the gingerbread man explained, his voice tinged with frustration. They keep trying to catch me, and I've had enough. I need protection. Tony chuckled, scratching his chin thoughtfully. Protection, huh? You're not exactly the usual client, but I suppose everyone's got their troubles. What can I do for you? The gingerbread man leaned in, his candy buttons practically gleaming with determination. I need muscle, Tony. I need someone to make sure those kids think twice before they come after me again. Tony nodded slowly, mulling over the request. All right, gingerbread. Consider it done. But remember, nothing in this world comes for free. The gingerbread man grinned, clearly unfazed by Tony's warning. Don't worry, Tony. I've got plenty of sugar to sweeten the deal. And so, an unlikely alliance was forged in the back room of Satriali's pork store. Tony Soprano, the feared mob boss, found himself in the curious position of protecting a gingerbread man from the clutches of curious children. But in the world of organized crime, as Tony knew all too well, stranger things had happened. As the gingerbread man hopped out of the room, a newfound swagger in his step, Tony couldn't help but chuckle to himself. It seemed that even in his line of work, there was always room for a little bit of sweetness.